Hey, welcome back to This Old Boat. This is Captain Steve. Uh, today we're doing a spring cleaning activity, which is always fun. It's April, and before the summer begins, it's a good time to go ahead and get um, our air conditioning system prepared and ready for the, for the coming summer. This is a process that we probably will do at least twice during the summer um, because when the unit is pulling in a lot of uh, seawater, it tends to be pulling in a lot of junk with it too and that gets our system clogged up. So uh, what we're going to do is review the air conditioning system on this particular boat and show you the parts that we've got and then we'll show you how we clean everything out uh, using a hose and um, get it all ready for, for next year. So welcome aboard. So this is our mermaid unit. This is the, uh, the compressor unit. Um, we're going to be cleaning off some of the coils here uh, before we clean our filter. This is uh, one of those washable ones so we can wash it off and do it up later. Uh, you've got a reset valve here, a reset switch here on the top and then there are your cooling coils here on the side, um, your compressor back here and then the water intake comes out of this tube right here, uh, this one right here and that flows into your system um, and that's what does the heat exchange uh, that's very important for the system to run properly. Um, it, it's kind of strange to think that we have to generate heat to ge get cold, but that's how the system works. And um, and so making sure that those coils are clean or there's nothing inside that's going to prevent uh, the heat exchanging process is important for this to happen. So we'll get this all cleaned up and vacuumed out, and then we'll move down here to the engine compartment and um, start working down there. All right, but so before we start working on the unit, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and shut off the through valve that uh, feeds the unit. So we'll shut that off here. Um, this is one of the fun things about old boats. You can see how many uh, how many depth finders they have had in here, um, and just cut one off and put a new one on. It's uh, that's the wonderful thing about new old, about old boats. They are just uh, full of surprises. So uh, what that does, it shuts the water from coming in. Now we'll be turning that back on when we put the hose back on it. But for now, we're going to be taking this clamp off here. This is our C strainer for the unit. Um, the water is coming in on this line right here, coming into the unit, and then it comes through here and then back to the pump. And then the pump pushes it up to the, the air conditioning unit. So what we're going to be doing with our hose today is basically taking off this clamp, putting on a, a hose fitting, and then blowing it back out to uh, to the ocean and then we'll change it out and we'll blow it up out of the unit that way so two things a uh, note of caution here though you do not want to uh, blow um, the hose through this unit um, don't don't throw it blow it through your pump because that will damage the system there so what we'll be doing is taking taking off this clamp that will force any debris out um, that was coming through the through hall out of the boat and then we'll be taking off this clamp right here and attaching the unit to that and blowing up to the the uh, the coils that are beside the air conditioning unit and that will be discharging um, outside uh, the boat um, also so uh, but don't don't force water through through the pump that is not a good idea so the next thing we're going to do is take this off and, and put our uh, connection on it all right, so we've gone ahead and removed the incoming valve from, from the strainer, and we've also gone ahead and removed the uh, exiting uh, water from the pump. So this is where our connector is going to be hooked up. Um, it is uh, just a uh, regular hose fitting because we're using a regular hose that's going to do it. We're going to do this one first uh, because it fits pretty nicely in there. And then uh, because the incoming line is a little bit bigger, we're going to be slipping over a piece of plastic over the end of, um, of this fitting so that we can um, pump that one out. Uh, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and do this, this one uh, by inserting the tube in here. And then um, we will go ahead, and it shouldn't be real tight because you're going to have to get that guy off. And then we'll tighten this back up and uh, again bring down the hose and, and get that uh, blown out. So we'll do that next. Okay, um, I've got my hose hooked up right there to it. It's going around. Right now I've just got it in very, very slow just to make sure that this is not leaking any. 
So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on full blast, and uh, and hopefully we'll see a lot of this junk. All right, so that's what you got coming out. That's coming out of it, blowing out everything. Not a lot of mud, which is nice, but that's what uh, that's blowing out all the junk that's in that tube. I'm going to give it about a few minutes to do that, and then uh, we'll shut it off and change it. Okay, I've gone ahead and um, and hooked up the the outflowing. Uh, tube back again that we just flushed and now I've got my my intake hooked up with a little piece of uh, tubing in there again you could use duct tape or whatever you want around the end tightened up I'm gonna go ahead and open up my through hole now down here and then I'm gonna go outside and turn on the water and let that blow out for a little bit. On second thought I have decided to go ahead and pull the sea strainer out because you can see it's full of full of mud down there. So we're going to hose that out up here, clean it off, probably recock that on there. And uh, that little valve looks like it's a bound shot. So we'll probably put some silicone around that and then put it back in there just to clean it off. So I'm cleaning this up. Well, I got the strainer out. I'll show you a few things about the, this one. Um, it's it's old, <laughs> and uh, and you can almost see in there where barnacles used to be growing up on the inside of it because it hadn't been cleaned forever. Um, all of these strainers have an in and an out marked on them. Uh, you can see it right there. There's the in. So that's going to be the incoming water from the ocean, and the out will be out to the uh, the air conditioning unit. Um, they have brackets on either side, which can be confusing. So that just means you can mount it either way in there. Make sure your bracket harness inside is tight um, so it's not going to slide around on you. Uh, again, this pin right here is a drain plug for the bottom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little silicone around that and, and screw it back in there because it did seem to be leaking a little bit. Um, just to make sure that we don't have any leaks in further times with that. I like that, that the barbs are pretty much gone on the sides. It makes it easy for uh, the hoses to sli slide on and off. Um, that's one of the nice things about older units. But it's not cracked in any way, so it doesn't have to be replaced. It's just, uh, just old, but it's still doing its job. You can see all the junk that we knocked out here in the dock uh, from, the, from, the, from the unit. I prefer um, metal strainers to plastic ones. Um, just because I think they last longer, especially in seawater conditions. Uh, so that's what we got here on, okay, uh, on the so We've got everything back together. Um, all of our clamps are, are on. Everything's back in. Filter's back in. We've got everything hooked up. Always a good idea to just go back one more time and give all, all of your, your uh, clamps just a little turn just to make sure that they're good and tight. Um, and that also checks that you did did you did the right thing and get them back on? All right, we're going to go ahead and turn the uh, turn the through hole back on and let this bubble out. It should be pretty rapidly filling. There we go, looking good. And we're going to shut that off again and we'll put our lid back on. And that buttons it up. wrench, give a nice little tighten to this guy here, and she's on. Okay, so we've buttoned this part up, um, we've cleaned out the system, and our air conditioning system is ready to go for the upcoming year. So thanks for watching today. I hope this was beneficial, and I hope you understand the parts of the air conditioning system that we uh, cleaned out today. Um, if again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, sponsorships, please let me know. We'd love to hear from you. So safe travels, my friends.